what's up guys welcome back once again it is me Malt. so happy to be here with you guys today as you saw in the thumbnail i am a zombie that's right guys new game came out on the app store it is called world zombination you guys would have seen me play this a couple of months ago but there's so many of you that are new um we're gonna be playing this game guys and it is awesome obviously i'm going to be the infected and we are going to choose the name Malt. we are going to submit so that none of you guys can choose it would you like to receive notifications about events? Yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and do it. Uh, okay, allow. So, this game, guys, just came out for the Horde. Use the zombie horde to take over new headquarters. Uh, let's go ahead and fight, and we are going to... I'm going to show you guys a little bit about this. So, you touch and hold to deploy them, select a unit, all this kind of stuff. For those of you who are interested in the game, guys, it is down below. There's a link you can just click on, automatically download. Um, we are going to go through a little bit of this and we're going to try and kill these humans So you can see over on the bottom left that I have got 50 units. We're gonna deploy look at this We're gonna deploy all of these zombies. They're gonna run up to this wall um, And we've got this brute right here. We're gonna go ahead and drag him over here We're gonna drop him right there at the front We're gonna drag this other one right over here and they're going to be kind of the tanks or the giants of the uh, of the attack and they're gonna take the brute or the brunt of the damage. We're going to go ahead and bring this other guy right here who's a spitter. Uh, he actually spits all this like venom at the humans and all this kind of stuff, guys. Um, again, this is just the tutorial, kind of the intro to the game. But you got three minutes to destroy all of these humans. Otherwise, if you choose the humans, then you can try and defend against the zombies. Obviously, I want to be the bad guy. So we're going to go ahead and again, guys, this is just showing us what it's going to kind of look like throughout the game. I'm going to be posting this on my channel. It is a lot of fun. I played the beta for a while. Um, and the, they, they had this in beta for seriously months and months and months, perfecting it for you guys. So now that it's out um, and all the graphics and everything are good to go, we're going to go ahead and drag these other guys over here. And look at that. We're going to take out... Um, this city, uh, it says clear, total trophies, all that kind of stuff. We're going to go ahead and continue. We're going to jump on into this, guys. And as you, um, as you go throughout all of these, you can see your rewards and you get different kinds of zombies from it. So we got an infector right there. We got some brains. We're going to go ahead and continue here. Obviously, it's different if you choose to be the humans. We're going to go ahead and go into evolve right here. Uh, click on this and let's see what this is. So select a unit to evolve so you can actually level up your troops in this and it's pretty freaking cool. So we're going to go ahead and start evolving this guy and then we're going to go back and fight. Um, so it says we need more brains and DNA to grow the horde. So gather equipment from the hospitals to create brains and DNA. Um, so we're going to go back and every time you defeat a city, if you will, so it says destroy this medical supply depot and collect the equipment inside guys every time that you do that you get enough to my battery's low you get enough to upgrade your zombies so um you always have to deploy on these pads we're gonna go ahead and deploy all 50 of our zombies on this pad look at them it is literally a zombie horde and we're gonna go ahead and drag these guys the brutes up to the front of our um of our horde and we're going to go ahead and drag that spitter up there as well. Drag that other spitter in there. And we are going to go after it. Now, as you progress, you get these troops. And you get to build your awesome army camps. You get to build all these different things, guys. And you get to attack either the humans or the zombies. I've actually never played as humans. During the beta, I played as zombies because it's awesome. You can see this guy right here. Infectors create more drones from fallen survivors. So he actually goes ahead and he... Um, touch and hold so you can also deploy right here so what the infector does is he brings old zombies back to life as they die which is really cool and then you can choose where you raid from or where you spawn from you can see those two different areas one right there and one right here and we get more spitters that we get to bring in here we also get to deploy more right here um, as the infector goes ahead and bring goes ahead and brings uh, all those guys back to life. So again, you saw that we got two right there. We got four. We got even more. We're going to easily take this whole thing over with. We're going to go ahead and deploy right up here again. And we're going to take that out. We're going to get some more brains, some more trophies so that we can upgrade our troops. Um, now, guys, I know that a lot of you are just going to say, hey, more Clash. I'm not going to stop posting Clash, guys. I promise you I'm not going to stop posting Clash. But I am going to post games that I enjoy. 
because I want this to be something that I enjoy, and I only post games that I think that you guys will enjoy as well. And this game is different from Clash. That's why I'm showing it to you guys. Um, some of the other games that I play are in the same category as Clash, but this is completely different. So we're going to go ahead and tap this splicer uh, to collect some DNA, and we're going to evolve uh, our troop right here. You can see these little perks and whatnot. They built a tree. Um, since the beta, they've come up with a lot of new stuff that I'm going to have to go ahead and learn. So as we evolve this guy, he gets all those new things. He gets a stamina recharge. I guess we can go ahead and evolve another character. Let's evolve one of the spitters. Stalt of I... Stalt... Oh my gosh, why am I speaking so dumb? We can start evolving him as well. Um, and again, it says, before we can take over the world, we need the secret weapon. So we're going to go ahead and fight right here, guys. And this is kind of the spell if you were to compare it to Clash. But this game is literally completely different from Clash of Clans. Um, so you can go ahead and you can hold down right here and you can deploy all 50 of your troops. And then you have all these guys down at the bottom that you can drag in. You can wait. You can deploy them whenever you want. So I'm going to wait till they're right here. Now I'm going to drop down my spitters and they're going to take out those humans. We've also got the Infector that we're going to drop off once some of our troops die so he can bring them back to life. Um, again, guys, I've never played the human version of this. I've only played, so now it's telling me to drag him so that he can heal some of them up. You can see all those dead bodies, all that blood and whatnot. Um, but uh, I've never played the human version, so I guess I'll go ahead and do some human gameplay as well in the future. But I am mostly excited about the zombies. I feel like... For me, personally, whenever I play these kinds of games, or whenever I play games where there are enemies, uh, or there are evil people, I always pick the bad guy. I don't know why, but that's just what I always do. We can actually deploy more. So use Stim Z to boost your horde. So that's right up here, guys. Look, we can drag this down, and we can drop it right there. And it's kind of like a rage spell, but what it is is it's a stim. It's kind of like some oil or something along those lines. Uh, we can actually deploy more of our zombies down here, and as you go along, you get you get more zombies that you can drag in, and you can progress, and just completely destroy these bases. We went ahead and took out that nuclear plant right there. That was an easy victory for us. We got more trophies, we got more brains, we got all that kind of stuff. And again, guys, this is just the intro. What is this guy? The secret weapon was me. It's time to fight for your... Horde, awesome. He was not in the beta at all, so I'm super stoked to play him. You guys can see all of these sweet graphics and whatnot. Um, make sure that you guys comment down below once you've played this, how you feel about it. If you're going to leave hate on the video, guys, just go watch a Clash video if that's what you're here for. That's fine. Um, me, like literally everyone else who plays games, plays more than one game. I play a lot of games because I enjoy them. We're going to go ahead and head over to San Francisco, and we are going to flight. We are going to fight very, very quickly, guys. And this is probably going to be the last thing. But the cool thing about this game is that you conquer cities that you um, know. So, like, there's San Francisco. There's all these other American. Uh, and I believe that there's other uh, countries as well that you can go to. Um, but we're going to go ahead and drop all those guys off. I don't know what this guy does, but we're going to drop him off in all this. We're going to drag... Uh, our infectors we're gonna drag our runner up in there oh yeah and so what the runner does is he runs towards the enemy and he blows up he's kind of like a uh, a suicide bomber if you will um, and we can actually drop off the rest of these guys and we're gonna drop off our other spitter and once they get up here guys we're gonna drop this oil on them and they are going to go to town on these um, humans I don't know why I pick zombies but I just think zombies are awesome so that's why I'm playing with zombies on this one um, and again, as we go on, guys, we can drag out more of them, and they can just completely wreck this. Now, it does get harder to go along, but watch this bomb, this bomber. He's going to run in there. He's going to blow up and take those guys out, but he also kills his own people. So that's why we have to have our infector in there so that he can bring them back to life. We're going to bring the spitter back in here. And all this seems fairly easy guys as we go through this you can see I just deployed some more zombies up there but it's fairly easy towards the beginning as you learn the game and as you figure it out but it does get harder as you go along and you progress we can go ahead and see what we've got from here so we've got the delivery man we've got more brains so on and so forth but guys make sure you all click on that link in the description to try the game out if you're not interested in it that's fine but I'm stoked about this. I'm going to be posting this a little bit along with Plunder Pirates and Clash. 
I am trying to get my channel to a point where I can post multiple games because I enjoy multiple games, guys. And for those of you who truly support me, then you'll support those videos as well. For those of you who are just here for Clash, that's fine. Just watch the Clash videos. I'm perfectly fine with that. But either way, I thank you guys. I appreciate you all. I hope that you enjoy the video. Make sure you all check out the game. Download it below. And uh, yeah, as always, guys, make sure you keep calm and you play on for me, right? I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.